I'm on my WooCommerce checkout page. I'm going to place the order. And within a couple of seconds, this order is added to my Google Sheets. It displays all the information. And if I change the status on my shop, then within a couple of seconds, it is also synced to my Google Sheet. And it doesn't end up here. If I change the status in my Google Sheet and go back to my shop, then within a couple of seconds, it's also synced back to my shop. Awesome, isn't it? So if you're interested how to synchronize your WooCommerce orders to Google Sheets, then you're in the right place. Just jump in and I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, first things first, we need to install a plugin and the plugin is called Order Sync with Google Sheets for WooCommerce. It's a brand new plugin updated four days ago and it has a free version and a pro version. Free version allows you to two-way order sync between WooCommerce and Google Sheets. It allows you to do unlimited order export, one-click manual order sync on Google Sheets, manual order sync WooCommerce from Google Sheets. All the order details are synced. You can synchronize imported orders, that is, if you imported your orders with some kind of third-party plugins, then those will also be synchronized to Google Sheets. As I said, it also has a pro version, and I'm going to show you this one today. And the pro version includes all the free features, but there are some nifty extras. That is, all the payment methods are synchronized. All the dates are synchronized, discounts, shipping details, order URLs, and so on. Currently, they offer two plans, lifetime plan and yearly plan. And for 10 sites, it's $89. For three sites, it's $59 yearly. But there is a lifetime package that is $226. But if you take a look at the description of this video, then there is a nice discount coupon for you and you will get additional 20% off from this price. Nice, isn't it? Okay, now when this is out of the way, let's go and let's install this plugin. Plugins add new, search for order sync with Google Sheets for WooCommerce, this one here, install it and activate it. Since I also have a pro version here, I'm going to add this one here, upload plugin, order sync, install, activate, add the license key, activate it. And now let's go to the setup. There is a nice video tutorial, open it up if needed. Take a closer look at it and then press on start setup button. What is nice that every step is nicely documented and displayed what you have to do here. Also, there is a video about how to create a Google Cloud platform, but I'm going to show you it anyway. So click on this link here, create a project for yourself, choose the project, click on new project button, give it a title. For example, my demo sync, you can rename it as you like. Next, click on create button. Now click on Create Credentials button and select Service Account. Give it the service account name, for example, Woo Order Sync. Press on Create and Continue button. Once again, continue and done. Now, since I created this service here, I'm going to click on it. Select Keys over here and click on Add Key. Select Create New Key, JSON here, and now press on create button. I'm going to save it and now go back to my site, upload this file here. Next, I have to enable the Google Sheets API. I'm going to click here. And since I already have enabled it, I don't have the button, but instead of this manage button, you have a enable button. So press on this enable button. I have already enabled it which means I'm going to select this I have enabled Google Sheet API and press on Next. Now I'm going to create a new Google Sheet, give it the title, for example, Shop Orders Sync. Next, I'm going to grab this URL here and paste it here. I'm going to enter Sheet tab name, whether it's Sheet 1, like this one here, but I can also create my own. Rename it to orders and add it here. Next, I'm going to click on next. Now I'm going to copy this address here. 
open up my sheet and press on share button, paste this URL here and press on send. Back to the dashboard, I've given editor access to this email ID. Next, I'm going to click on this copy code button here. Go to my sheet, open up extensions, select apps script. Delete this one here and paste the code here. Save it and run it. It says authorization required. I'm going to review the permissions. I'm going to select my account. It says Google hasn't verified this app. I'm going to click on advanced and go to untitled project. Allow the access. Execution completed. And this step is done. Back to the dashboard. I'm going to select I've placed the code and click on the run button. Now next, I have to set the triggers, which means I'm going to open up my sheet once again. Extensions, app scripts. There is triggers here. Click on add trigger button. Choose on change here. And on change down below here. Click save. Back to the dashboard. I have added the trigger selection. Next. And done. Now I'm going to click on sync orders to Google Sheet. And voila. Here they are. Now back to my shop. Let's take a look what's happening here. You open up the order sync Google Sheet settings. Basically, there is nothing to configure, but if you would like to change the setup, then just click here and you can do it once again. Maybe you would like to add another sheet or something like that. But there is also a settings button up here and there are some things you can tweak. For example, you can choose whether to sync or total discount whether to synchronize shipping details, order dates, payment methods, customer notes, or synchronize order URLs. Just activate or deactivate the ones you need. I like the clear dashboard. If you click on the video tutorial, you will be redirected to the tutorial. You can use under the what's new, you can see all the improvements that has been made. And as you show, setting it up took only a couple of minutes. Now let's test it a bit. Let's go to the orders. I have three orders here with processing or on hold statuses. Let's change the status for this one here from on hold to complete it. So we did it here, back to the sheets, and it's already synchronized here. There is also a sync orders on the Google Sheet button up here. You can do it manually, for example, sync orders, and they will be synced. Now let's create the order here. Just fill the fields, place the order, it's here. Let's refresh it here. Well, there it is on hold. I'm going to go to the sheets and it has appeared here. I have also another site with approximately 100 orders, this one here. And I have set up another file for this shop. And you can do the same if you have multiple shops. And handling the orders are really easy because now. I can just select this one here, set it to processing, for example, instead of on hold. And if I open up my site, you'll see the status has been changed. Let's do it one more time for order 3348 from on hold to complete it. Refresh it. And it's here. Awesome. So yeah, awesome plugin, it's simple to use. Setup takes only a couple of minutes. And if you're someone who is looking for a simple way to synchronize your WooCommerce orders to the Google Sheets, then this is the way to go. Two other things I would like to point out. First of those is that you can also play with a demo. Just go to the front page, click on the try live demo button, then start demo experience and you can play with it. And the other thing I would like to point out is that uh, support has been good to me. They have been responsive and pretty fast. So that's another good thing for a good plugin that needs to be mentioned. Once again, it has a free version. Take a look at it. It has a pro version with a pretty generous pricing plans. 
if you take a look at the description of this video, then there is a 20% discount coupon for you. Now, before you go, wait. If you find this tutorial helpful, then press thumbs up, this one here. And take a look at this side of the screen. It contains two good videos. I think you may find them useful. Meanwhile, take care. Bye.